Parents of students of color in one South Sound community are standing behind a decision by their school board to censure one of their own Clover Park School District board members. Paul Wagaman was censured for a second time earlier this week. An outside investigator hired by the district substantiated multiple claims that Wagaman bullied the superintendent and used racially charged language. Fox 13 News reporter Steve Kiggins is live in Pierce County with parents complaints and also he's hearing from neighbors who stand behind Wagaman. Steve. Yeah, Jamie and David Wagman in that meeting, he had lots of supporters during that meeting on Monday who testified to his strong character and his good nature. But there are some parents in this community who say Wagman is racist and should resign. Paul, you are a racist and a white supremacist. Strong words from a packed Clover Park School Board meeting Monday where public comment continued for hours. Talking about the man on the far right of your screen, Paul Wagman. Paul Wagman is a racist and a white supremacist. Tanisha Lyons repeated today what she said during Monday's meeting. She once ran for Wagman's elected seat but lost. And she says his antics are nothing new. I just would like to see him resign. Monday's board voted to censure Wagman after an investigator hired by the district determined the board member violated district policy. The investigator's report says District Superintendent Ron Banner accused Wagaman of repeated harassment and intimidation. Fellow board members say he's antagonistic and disrespectful. And their relationship soured to the point where Wagaman threatened to sue the superintendent. Also in the report, the investigator substantiated that Wagaman used racially charged language, including using the term crack the whip, saying in some black communities it is okay to call women the B-word and using the phrase race primps and cotton picking in district and social media messaging. During Monday's board meeting, Wagaman pushed back. There were many people, including board members here, that were in the room when the crack whip comment was made and some of the other comments that were made uh, that have been totally taken out of context. And so how does the public get involved in this? Uh, you know, so the as, as we go through this, this, this becomes almost a kangaroo court is what you've got. It so apparent and so deliberate and so intentional. Community member and equity focused educator Kimi Irene Gim says the censure is just one step. She's working on ending Wagaman's tenure. We're looking at making sure there are candidates that are running that are running with the agenda that's about equity and diversity and inclusivity and making sure that people of color who, especially here in Pierce County, have not registered to vote and have not voted that we are doing a major push right now to get more people of color voting. So I did reach out to board member Wagaman seeking comment to include in this report, but I didn't immediately hear back. Now, Wagaman was appointed to his position in 2009. He has won re-election every election uh, since, and he his seat will be up for election once more coming up in November in 2023. We're live in Lakewood tonight, Steve Kiggins, Fox 13 News.